Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be... important to you. Oh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little... different, though, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I've said all I need to, for now. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Opened. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking.
While you were gone, I tapped my foot over 3,000 times. I don't know why I counted. Huh. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? That makes sense. It all makes sense. Those feelings that something's there in the dark... It wasn't my imagination. It's not crazy at all. It's like you've pulled the shades off my mind's window. I can see now. There's a whole world out there. It's mind-blowing. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. What can I do to show my appreciation? It's all a blur of nonsense. I'd rather forget the past, the ignorance, and just follow your trail of headcrumbs into Wonderland. <laughs> okay. somewhere. Thank 
This area is for hospital staff only. You can let yourself out. Cemetery runoff congealing at the door. Thank you. 